Welcome! Before I go into details, I would like to say that you will have to bear over with me. Because English is not my native language and I rarely use it, and especially not technical English. First you'll see a little first person driving and then I'll go into technical details. Enjoy the video! There is a lot of reasons I chose this uh, flight controller over the normal uh, uh, remote controlled car controller with a wheel. Uh, it's because uh, this controller has a lot of uh, uh, functions, it's lots of switches, uh, which uh, I need for this project. This is the throttle and brakes. This is the steering. This is the ignition switch. It's uh, in off position right now and you can flip it over to uh, ignition on and also put the lights on. And when you got your ignition on, you just have to press the start button and the car starts. So this is a safety feature. Uh, on the right side we have... Um, if I flip this down it uh, stops the whole system. If I flips, flip this up, we start all the mot uh, servo motors. This switch is the gear selector. If you flip it up, it will go in reverse. If you flip it down, it will go forward. Now it's in neutral. So I'll flip it in reverse. And then I can drive backwards. And flip it in drive. Give it a little throttle. Reverse. And that's it, now it's in neutral. And you can see the throttle is very responsive. On the left side we got the horn. This is the spectrum receiver giving a PVM signal to the three Arduino microcontrollers, one Arduino Mega and two Arduino Unos. The Mega is handling all the important functions as steering, brakes, throttle, gear and starch. Then we got a UNO to control accessory functions as lights, horn and so on. Up here we have the second UNO being a safety throttle cut. Down below here we have the steering. This is the steering column. Uh, I welded a gear to the column. And there's a chain drive to this gear which uh, is mounted on this geared motor. Uh, and there's also a potentiometer saying 
where the position of the steering wheel is. This is the brake actuator. It's kind of overkill, uh, but it is strong enough and uh, it's fast enough. Uh, and uh, this is the sliding potentiometer to give feedback to the microcontroller. So this is the gear selector, it's an actuator uh, which pushes and pulls on this wire which is going to the gearbox. And we also have a sliding potentiometer right there, so the microcontroller knows where to start and stop the actuator. You can see I've scratched the marks for the different gears. So here's a little test, and uh, now it's in neutral, I'll put it in reverse, neutral again drive and then uh, this here is the parking for the ignition what I've done is I've uh, clamped on these cables and run them through these relays which are controlled by the microcontroller I have no footage of the throttle servo in action other than this picture it's a standard heavy duty 60 degree servo motor mounted to the chassis of the car pulling the wire to the throttle valve which was not a good idea because the engine twists a little bit when it's turned on which tightened the wire and gave unwanted acceleration I fixed it by mounting the servo to the motor itself Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video interesting If you have any questions please leave a comment Remember to like and subscribe, I will be back with more videos